yesterday we had a, a little incident. Steve um, suffers from PTSD, and he wasn't really aware of how serious it could be. Um, obviously, just the, the, the fact that he has it, just the common symptoms of PTSD are pretty horrible. But yesterday, Steve... <coughs> began having a, a serious panic attack and then the whole incident lasted about three hours he he felt like he couldn't breathe he started to to fade out and become numb his hands were in extreme pain in his hands he couldn't move his, his hands um, and honestly he thought he was going to die and this wasn't this wasn't this was from PTSD this is how serious PTSD is um, and soldiers are coming back and they're not getting proper treatment for this they're, they'll come back with PTSD and maybe be made to wait three months before they can even see someone who can begin to treat them for it or be, even begin to diagnose them. It's like the, the amount of blood flow and, and adrenaline that was pumping through Steve, like, that, that, that's what you use on the battlefield. And, and we were riding on a bus on our way to see Shakespeare in the park. And they, they never teach you how to deal with that when you get back. They, they brush you aside. They make you feel like a, a like you couldn't take it. Should should have never joined the army. You couldn't take it. But it's the best soldiers that, that get themselves up to that level in combat. They can psych themselves up so much. They can control their heartbeat and everything. There's an old saying: "Good soldiers make bad civilians," or something like that. question I get asked a lot is what can I do um, and I don't have all the answers what I'm here to do is is let you know what's let you know what's going on and open your eyes to reality but Americans for the most part once they get past the propaganda and the rhetoric are intelligent people and they can figure out where to go from here there are so many different things you can do. But sitting by and, and being apathetic about the whole situation is unacceptable. It's like your guess is as good as ours. <laughs> we were sleeping in D.C. for three weeks. Like Steve said, he'll give us a bus. We, we drove 
across the country to some guy's house we didn't know and got the bus and started driving around with, on the tour with these guys. Um, there's one guy, he was on CNN because he just put a, a, a poster in his window saying how many people got killed in Iraq. It's like, you, 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 you can figure out something to do. Wear a t-shirt that says stop the war and walk around. And, it's, it's like the American citizens have forgotten that, they, that the masses hold the power that, that we run this country, and it's been it's been given over to the elitist and, and the people who are now in power who are abusing this, and it's so easy to take that power back, and we just won't do it. My um, son is 18, and his good friend is on his way to Iraq now. And the thing that got him boy, was that the recruiter would meet with him at the cafeteria at high school and really got to know him, was real personable. And so the sell was that he was able to refer to things that this boy had said, like, well, you know, yeah, your sister screwed up in school, but this will really help, you know, your parents, they won't have to pay for your education. And he got to know him in that way. I wondered if that had happened to you with the recruiters or if it was more... You know, was there some moment where it was just like, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do? Was there something they said that kind of helped you? How's the recruiter's dream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for me, no, it was, it was extremely sudden. It, it only took a few days for me to make that snap decision and then go in. But being at the recruiting station, there were people there who that was like their hangout. They just, and, and they were had an actual personal relationship with a recruiter. Um, the recruiters would take you out to a, a, a to a club or buy you beer or do whatever was necessary to, to get your trust. Um, the recruiters are, to me are like used car sales. They they have a quota and they'll do whatever they need to to make that quota.